In this video, we'll see how to organize the different artifacts into different folders. Now, why do we need to organize different into different folders? Because imagine in a project, you have thousands and thousands of artifacts. Artifacts can be of different types. Let's say actors, business goals, business rules, modules, collections, anything. So I cannot put in just one folder all the artifacts. I need to categorize them according to the artifact type, according to the owner, according to the date modified and so on. So I can just categorize them and I can put into separate folders. So here you see, if you see, there's an option given as filter by folder. Now if I click on this plus sign and uh, you see that's a HSBC bank project. So that is a project inside which there are multiple folders. Now those folders, I've taken a template of JK banking. That's a sample application given by IBM for demo purpose. So for, uh, in this, if you see, there are different folders. And if I keep on expanding that folders, I have some folders inside that. So if you see the names are given here as readme folder, business goal folder and so on. So every folder they have given a meaningful name. Now what exactly the folder contains? Now everywhere, if, you, if I click on this business rules, now if I click on this business rules folder, so I'll get this all the artifacts. And if you see there's a business rules artifacts inside that folder. These are the artifacts which I have created, but usually what is the name of the folder inside that the same artifact type you'll be getting it. Similarly, there are some sketches and storyboards. If I scroll down, there are some UI sketches, right? There's some UI sketches folder inside that I have all the graphical artifact type. Okay. So that's artifact type, which is graphical artifact. So those have been organized properly into that folder. So it makes your work easy to find out where is my artifact in which folder it is there, right? So that's one thing. Next is at any point of time, if you think I have to create another folder for my reference purpose, I can create it. It, it is highly possible that one artifact might be in three folders. So it is possible there. So let us see how to create a folder. Now to create a folder, you might, you should have some uh, admin privileges. That's a project admin. And then only you can create it. Suppose I want to create a folder. I'll just minimize everything. So it's easy. If I want to create a folder, I can just click on this pencil sign and pencil edit button. And there are some options I'll get it. So if I want to create a folder, I'll just click on this create folder and I can give it as actors and I can click on this OK button. So once I click on OK button, the folder has been created. And if you see below this HSBC bank project, there's an actor folder created. Now the folder is totally empty. Do I want to add some artifacts? Yes. If I want to add some artifacts, I can click on this pencil button. I can create, I can import, I can upload an artifact. So anything if I want, I can just use it, right? Similarly, if I click on create artifact, I'll get the same dialog box here. If I click on this, create artifact, I'll get the same dialog box, which I used to get from clicking on this create button. So I'll not go in detail about that. Similarly, if I want to uh, import or upload the artifact, the same things you can do. Also, you can also copy from another project. Some artifacts, if you want to copy from another project, you can just borrow that project from that project, some artifacts and you can store it. So there are lengthy steps. There are three to four steps, three steps here, right? You can also work on that. Next is if you want to assign some membership or you can say authentication to some team itself, you can select this option, assign team ownership. Right now the ownership is given to HSBC team ownership. So if I click on this assign team ownership like this, if I click on assign team ownership, so it says there are multiple teams, which team do you want to give the ownership? So do you want to give to this business analyst system analyst or which one? So I'll say I want to give to system analyst team. So that team, will get a notification that ownership is assigned to this particular team itself. And that's the membership assigned. Next is if you want to delete a folder or if you want to move a folder, rename a folder or share a link, these are easy things. So if I just want to rename a folder and I can say as yes, actors for use case and I can click on OK. So the name will be changed itself. So that is actors for use case. So at any point of time, suppose if I click on this folder, like this, if I click on this business goals, so my artifacts, thousand artifacts, whatever were there, that has been categorized based on the folder. So this is nothing but a putting a filter on the folder. Now in the newer version, 6.0.3 onwards, that is nothing but folder is any type of business goal. That is nothing but a business goal that here a filter is created, right? So if you do not want that filter, either you click on this create button or you can just click on this create button. So if you do not click on create button and if you go to some other place, let's say this place, you might find out this option if you see is in business goals. 
so that means filter by art filter artifacts by this business goals so make sure before jumping to any other place you select that option and you can just click on this clear filter so if i click on this clear filter you see it went away from there now you can easily navigate from another place otherwise you'll have a duplicate of filtering part into filter by folder and another filter itself so i hope you're able to understand how to categorize the artifacts based on the folder itself that's all for this video